Hi there everybody and welcome to this video. So today we are going to cover one of the new functions released in the Wave 1 update of 2023. Uh, it's called a Review General Ledger Accounts. Um, and very simply what this change does, what this update does, is it allows you to review general ledger entries um, on your general ledger and mark them as reviewed. Um, so let's get into it. What I'm going to do is just use the shortcut here to go to my chart of accounts. And what I can do now is on my general ledger account card, I can say um, I want to set a review policy. Um, so this is the new field which enforces the rule around reviewing general ledger entries associated with this particular GL account. Um, now right now it's set to uh, none, but we have other options here of allow review and allow review and match balance. Um, so let's just run through sort of what the different options here are. So none, um, where I have the review policy set to none, it means that we can't do um, any reviewing of any entries. Um, so if I jump into my balance field here, it just takes me through to my general ledger entries page. And here we have the review entries action. Um, so if I click that, it brings up yet another new page called review GL entries. And this is against account number 10100 for income services. Um, and this is a new page introduced by the update. And um, basically the idea is, is I can run down the entries here. So the list of GL entries and I can mark an entry as reviewed. Um, but if I click it right now, um, it gives me an error. And the reason for that is it tells me that GL entries for GL account 10100 were not marked as reviewed since the GL account has a no review policy. Um, so this is uh, giving us this error because we said that um, we didn't have um, a review policy on that GL account card. Well, let me go back here to the GL account card. It's because we've got the review policy set to none. Okay. So if I do want to review GL entries against this general ledger code, I can go in and say allow review. And now if I go into my GL account balance, I can go into review. And what I can do is I can go in and say set selected as reviewed. Okay, and what this does, you'll notice is it ticks the Boolean here as reviewed. Um, so reviewed is set as yes, and it tells me that it was reviewed by this user. Reviewed date and time, and then a reviewed identifier, sort of like a, a unique document number, I guess. Um, and I can do this on multiple lines here, so I can set selected as reviewed. And as you can see, it just marks the Boolean here, reviewed as yes, tells me the username, the time, and it gives me a reviewed identifier. Um, just FYI, it doesn't seem like I can mark the entries here manually, so I can't go and tick this um, and Boolean here, even though I'm in edit list mode. So now I'm in non-edit mode, but even when I am in edit mode, it doesn't let me modify that Boolean manually. I have to click the action here at the top. Um, and if I incorrectly set one as reviewed, I can use the action up here to set selected as not reviewed. Um, so I can do that and it unmarks the entry as reviewed. So reviewed is now set to no. And much like we see in some of the other ledgers in BC, um, thinking about the bank account reconciliation um, ledger, we can use the show reviewed and hide reviewed and show all entries just to set some quick filters on this page. So if I say show reviewed entries, it shows me only those where the reviewed tick box is set to yes, hide reviewed where the reviewed is set to no, and show all entries where there is no filter and I see all of my entries here. So I do also have um, some nice fields at the bottom here that tell me the um, amounts for the lines that I'm on at this point in time so I can move through the lines. 
sorry, the amount's the same there. But if you look here, I've got 346.74 um, as a debit LCY in this particular line. But if I move to here, I've got a credit of 100 here. And it also tells me the um, balance um, of all the lines applied to my particular line here. And it reminds me of my review policy in this particular field here. So these aren't editable fields, but they're just there for reference. Now, um, the third option, guys, I'm just going to run through. If I come back to my GL account card, I'm just going to change to allow review and match balance. So that's the final option that we have here. And let me jump back into my balance here. And I'm going to go review entries. And the difference where the review policy is allow review and match balance, as you've probably already guessed, is that it won't let us mark the entries as reviewed unless the debits and credits match. So if I go ahead and say I'm going to select this line and this line and say selected as uh, set selected as reviewed, just as we have done previously, um, what will happen is I'll get a message saying selected entries for GL account 10100 were not marked as reviewed because the credit and debit do not match and the review policy on the account enforces that. So it's effectively saying that the debit and credit entries uh, must match, they must net each other off, otherwise it won't let me apply them to each other. So I do have two lines here at the bottom which are the same, um, so I've got a, a debit and a credit, so these two entries here, look, I've got uh, minus 1200 plus 1200, but I've got a credit amount of 1200 on this line, and I've got a debit amount of 1200 on this line, looks like a, a credit memo that we posted and an invoice. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is just say set selected as reviewed, and you'll notice that it does mark those successfully as reviewed. Other thing to mention, guys, with this one, whereas the top two here weren't um, um, reviewed using the allow review and match balance um, policy, we've got review identifier, reviewed identifier, sorry, as one and two on these two lines. But because these two lines were matched together, you can see they have the same reviewed identifier. Um, so this is the field that links them together here. Um, so I can also say set selected as not reviewed as well to undo those there. Um, and just as an FYI here, guys, because we went and set these first two lines when the review policy was allow review. So these two lines we set when the review policy was just set to allow review. Now that we've changed it to allow review and match balance, obviously I still cannot undo these lines. So if I set selected these two here and said set selected as not reviewed, it wouldn't let me do that because the credit and debit entries do not match. Um, so just want to be careful with when you set your review policy. Um, the same applies here if I try to do one of them at a time because again, the credits and debits do not match on that one. So I guess just be careful with that and set your um, review policy accordingly. Um, so just one other thing I want to show you here, um, we've been working with a single general ledger code here, so we've filtered to GL account 10100, and that's because we came through to the general ledger entries from GL account 10100. So if I go back here, this is the account on which um, we set the review policy and we went through to the balance here. Um, so that's the reason why. Um, we can only see, when I go to review entries, entries for GL account 10100. But it is possible to do this across multiple accounts. And sorry guys, let me just unmark these as reviewed for now. So I'll just say not reviewed, not reviewed. And I'll just set this policy back to none. Um, it is possible to do this across multiple GL accounts. So what I'm going to do from my home screen here is just use the shortcut to general ledger entries. You can also search for that page. I've just got a shortcut in there. 
Um, but from here, we can go ahead and we can apply the same um, functionality. So if I come into my um, general entry, entry here for an invoice, let me just go this one. So invoice 103217, I'm going to go, I can say review entries from here, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set the um, policy on my GL account. So I'm going to go find entries and I'll just give it a second to come up there. And you may not need to do this in a live environment, guys, but I'm just showing you that it can be done. So I'm going to my five GL account entries here, and I'm just going to pick some accounts that I can match off to here. So let's go 56, 110 and 40400. So I'm going to set the review policy on that to allow review and match balance. And I'm going to set the uh, review policy on 40400. This is the accounts receivable account. I guess you wouldn't normally do this, but just to show you that we can do it, um, I'm going to go into that account and also set to um, allow and match balance. Um, so from here, I'm going to copy my document number. I'm going to go review entries. And again, you can see that it filters to GL account number 56110 because when I clicked review entries, I had GL account number 56110 selected. Um, but I can easily go in and say clear filter, and I can say filter to this value on the document number, which is 103217. Um, and what I'm now going to do is, sorry, I just, I've just realized I need to set the policy on this as well. Let me just set that to allow review and match balance on 50400, the GL account card. And so now I can select um, these three entries. So I've got my 40400 line for 105, and I've got my other line here which I should have selected this one sorry for 100 and my other line here for five um, and this is all linked to one invoice guys but uh, I mean I guess you wouldn't normally do this but I'm just showing you that you can um, here I've applied those three lines and because I've got the fault the uh, review policies to set to uh, allow review and match balance when I say set selected as reviewed it will let me do that. And that was really, guys, just to show you that you can go across GL account numbers um, as you wish on this functionality. Um, as I say, not sure if you would use it like that in um, um, the real world, but just um, showing you that. OK, so that's everything that I wanted to show you here, guys. Um, I hope you find that video useful. Um, thank you very much for your time and uh, I'll see you on the next one.